So here's the thing about Tori Vega from Victorious. Uh, I stopped and started this video about 30 times. I don't know if I'm embarrassed that I'm spending so much time talking about this show that definitely did not have that much thought put into it, or embarrassed to admit that I kind of really liked this show and watched it more than once. And twice. And thrice. And I'll stop there. <laughs> I watched this show growing up so I can kind of remember some of the feelings I had towards the characters, and honestly, I never remember disliking Tori Vega. Andre too. Beck sometimes. Robbie often. So after I saw that the internet kind of hated her, I was very curious as to find out why. And here's what I found. Exhibit A. Kissing Cat's Boyfriend. Not a great move. I can't really defend it, but it's a rare misstep for her. If Cat and her are able to patch things up, why can't we all? Also, this show is so out there sometimes that this event seems weirdly tame compared to Psychowitz not willing to share what is in the meat that episode. That shit is dark. Like, there's a lot of really dark things going on. I don't know if that's the one to focus on, especially since they made up. Exhibit B, kissing Jade's boyfriend. Yuck, I'm not off to a good start in her defense. But the pilot is not really a good representation of the characters. Jade is just like the mean girl and she's not even mean in a funny way, like the show really nails later on. Tori isn't really herself either. Later on, in fact, she's even really hesitant to kiss him after they've broken up because she doesn't want to hurt Jade. And it definitely would hurt her, Jade is the jealous type, so it is good of her to at least consider her there. Exhibit C. The main cast is too good. So, it's obvious that Tori was propped up as the star girl at the school, but the main cast is all so good it's hard to ignore them, and I guess it could be frustrating to some that Tori is promoted over and over again when all these other talented people are here. Jade is an incredible character, you'd never expect someone like her to show up in a show like this, she's so wild and scary. Plus she's just like a killer singer with an amazing soulful voice, and Kat is Ariana Grande. Do I really need to elaborate on that one? Andre is such a good singer, and guess what? We barely hear him do it, but I like how he is the musician and is automatically good at playing everything and writing songs. He is a fun one to have around that nobody, not even Jade, dislikes. Tori's not my friend, I only tolerate Robbie, no one likes Trina, and Kat's basically a pet. Beck is fine. I don't really think he stands out either in this show, he's kind of just hot actor guy, let's be real here. But when he is required to do serious scenes, which he often gets, he's actually a very good performer. Robbie is fucking hilarious. You can tell that a lot of the physical comedy that he does is improv, and it is absolutely hysterical every single time. I don't think they necessarily outshine her as badly as everyone says. She's got some great stuff and bits in there. Take a Hint is probably my favorite number. Her voice blends so well with Jade's. Plus, you gotta give some credit to Victoria Justice. Her character is honestly written to be a generic main girl, kinda like Carly Shay, but Miranda made that her own too. But she makes it a lot goofier and plays around with the role to make it more fun to have around, which I really appreciate. Exhibit D, other characters are goofier. <laughs> Justice may have made the character goofy, but there are so many insane characters around, it's hard to notice her performance. I'd like to point out that Kat taking calls from people who have been in car accidents as an example. What the fuck? And Jade is Jade. Scissors, dry humor, she's like the funniest character on the show. Robbie is a wacko, his jokes are all so sad, but he absolutely hams up every bit that he has, loved him as the jelly-legged motivational speaker, great shit there. And then we have the side characters like Sinjin and Mr. Psychowitz, they're all great additions to the cast that are absolutely bonkers, and you can't act like they are real people, because <laughs> some of the shit they do is beyond. Robbie straight up stalks half of the main cast. Overall though, I think Tori gets a lot of good bits too, it's just that the other characters get some better ones because of the general craziness and her having been pinned down to be the main girl. But again, Victoria Justice did a really excellent job portraying her and did as much as she could with the role, and I really don't think she's outshined as badly as people say. Tori is at her best with Andre. They make a really good pair and had great chemistry, should have explored that more, and that was always a pleasure to see on screen. So I think Tori does have a very crucial place in the story. 
But that is all for today. I'm so sorry for making this video. If you want to support us more, I can't imagine why you would. You can go to our Patreon at patreon.com slash tv underscore wins. There you can get videos early, you can get full access to our reactions, and you can choose what you want to see on the channel. So it's a really great way to support us, but also a really great way to get extra content for yourself. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Or I guess I just will, because I, this, I make this by myself, so, you know. I'll see you next, I, I will see you next time. Yes. I should end the video before I embarrass myself further. Farewell. Oh my god, turn the mic off, Alex.